Well, how y'all are? It's your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range. I'm a loading me up some uh, fives here. No, the 45s are rolling away is what it is. Get over here. Hell, boogers. Let's see. Where's that? Bear with me. It's like my wife's purse. There it is. Um, recently, I was going through my junk and I found a carton of primers. And the carton of primers from, was from a box of stuff from an estate that we got at Brag About It Guns and Ammo, oh, I don't know, several years ago. And it was a whole carton of large pistol primers. And I got to looking at them and I'm like, these old magazines, I got these old bargain basement magazines, I'm not crazy about them. <clears throat> so I decided, hey, let's load those up. Let's let's get some out of there and take them out and load up a test round of them and see if they're still any good. Which you'll see in just a minute why I have a doubt. Lula loader, buddy. Good piece of equipment. You can even load these old crappy magazines with it. days. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's one of those days. The primers in question are these. Winchester Western Stralis primers. Uh, this These primers have a wooden wooden liner in a cardboard tray. Um, you know, they're so I didn't know how old they were, so I went out and started researching, looking at old cartridge boxes and old primer boxes and old component boxes and so forth, trying to figure out how old these were. And the graphics on the container pretty well seem to indicate that these are late 1950s, early 1960s manufactured primers. So that's like 1960. 70, 80, 90, 2000, 2010, 2020, 70 years old. Possibly 70 year old primers. Uh, and they are, in fact, large pistol standard primers. Um, so I was in the process of loading some 45s and I thought, well, let's load up 14 of them, two magazines and a 1911, and see how they shoot. And see if they shoot, you know. So, you get the old World War II 1911 out here. And see if they shoot. Now, I'm not going for accuracy, I'm just trying to figure out if this ammunition works. But, oh, we might as well aim. Oop. Yeah, yeah, that one goes. Let's try the next one. Oop, that didn't go in battery. I have a resizing problem there. Let's see. There we go. Uh, yeah. Seems we have a resizing problem there. Hmm. Okay. Down that barrel, make sure they ain't got no instructions. And go back to playtime. And that magazine didn't log back. Look at that. Cheap, cheap magazine. $10 gun can 
Gun show mag. That's what that is. All right, let's try seven more here. Maybe all of these are resized properly. And now we're in lock back. Hmm. But it appears that the 70 year old primers all fired. Now, can you go with that? No. No, you have to do what I did. You just have to go out and test that old primer and see if it works. Right now, primers are in extremely short supply. Um, large pistol doesn't seem to be as big of an issue and uh, large rifle doesn't seem to be as big of an issue. That's mainly because people don't want to reload 45s and 44 magnums, you know, as much as they want to reload, you know, 9 millimeters. And they don't want to reload 30-06s and 308s as much as they want to reload five five six so you know I buy components when components are cheap and they will be again I mean you know uh, I'm personally am starting to see the pipeline start to fill back up you know I go in gun shops and there's ammo on the shelf uh, I go in big box stores and there's ammo on the shelf I mean it gets cleaned off pretty good but it's coming in you know, that's the thing. It is coming in. Uh, we went to a big box store. Me and Ed went to a big box store and bought uh, quite a bit of 9 millimeter a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and it wasn't terribly expensive. It wasn't at the gouge or scalp price. It was at, at the uh, pretty much the normal price plus the 20% across the board ammunition increase that all of the manufacturers got together and pulled you know, during the middle of last year. So, eh, all right then. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me no dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to. You know, stuff costs money. <laughs> I'm trying to show you stuff. It costs a little bit to do it. Um, God bless everyone. Continue to be careful during these koofy times. Uh, my dad's got it. He's had it for about a week. He's been going through it and he's at home. He's 82, and uh, he's at home. He's taking his pills, and everybody's keeping an eye on him, but he ain't croaked yet. All right, then. Uh, God bless everyone, and we'll see you when we see you.